Hey everyone and welcome to another video. If my voice sounds a little off today it is because I'm actually ill but I just really had to make this video because I really want to recap what has happened at BlizzCon this year. So uh, let's just get right into it. First off we have uh, Blizzard that is looking into more patches and they're actually gonna release 7.1.5 which is the new upcoming patch onto the PTR really soon. I think it was next week actually so look forward to that. Um, they're introducing time walking in Pandaria with 7.1.5 and this is obviously just something they have been rolling out constantly going back to previous expansions. They uh, said they would limit themselves to two expansions uh, behind so Pandaria now and next expansion they will touch Warlords of Genoi. There's a new uh, Brawlers Guild coming up which is uh, the third season of Brawlers Guild and uh, this time it will feature lots of cool new stuff, shirts, mount, basilisk mount that is, and other things and I will show a little video about that. Then we have the micro holidays, which are basically one day holidays that Blizzard is implementing, such as uh, remembrance for Anchorage and uh, pretend to be a city guard for a day, and then the hatching of the hippogriffs in Feralas, which are all pretty interesting concepts, except they don't really bring much rewards to the game. It's just a fun thing for people that play World of Warcraft a lot, I guess, to just have something else to do on those days. And then there's a revamp of Blaze Edge Arena, which gives it upgraded graphics, which I thought was really cool. There's also a video about that. And then we have some class updates, which are gonna change things up a little bit for some classes, um, changing the stat weights for some classes. It, it's not really been specific to what they're gonna do as of now. Something about like hunters getting traps and every specialization and such like, um, but we will have to wait and see what will actually happen. So that is what will happen on the 7.1.5 PTR and obviously the patch that will come up. And I'm pretty sure on 7.1.5 that Nighthold will also be introduced because, I mean, it's already in the game but it's just not been opened yet. So I wouldn't be surprised if Nighthold would open at the point when it, it's released. So we will see when the public trust run... run uh, when the public test realm rolls out. And then we have the patch 7.2, which is even further away, but which introduced a whole new hype for me personally, which is they're gonna release the Tomb of Sargras. This is insanely cool. Um, there will be some Legion assaults uh, around the world, which basically is like the invasions happening before Legion was launched uh, around the world in Azeroth and uh, this time it will be brought to the Broken Shore which is uh, pretty pretty awesome and it will work in the ways of world quests.
And then you have flying, which is uh, going to be introduced with a broken Isles Pathfinder part two. Part one is already out and you can do that by getting insulted with all the different uh, factions and such like. And there will be uh, another zone where you can earn reputation with new factions so that you can unlock the part two of the Pathfinder. And I mean, uh, when it also comes to flying, I showed this in a previous video, but there will be a new class specific flying mounts, which I think is really cool. So look forward to those. So there's a new raid zone called Tomb of Sargras, lots of cool uh, new content here, new bosses, new lore, uh, basically going into the Well of a Loon, uh, except it's been tainted by Legion, so that is really cool. There's also some pictures of the bosses that really look awesome, and there's also going to be a dungeon in the same patch as this called Cathedral of Eternal Night, which I think goes around the same theme of the Tomb of Sagras. So, five man content, raiding content, loving it. Next up, we have the PvP Brawls. This is a new system that will basically copy what already exists in Overwatch and other Blizzard games, which just adds a little bit more fun to the PvP aspect of the game. So there will be new battlegrounds and new features in these battlegrounds to just give you peers more of a fun edge to the game, not always like super serious MLG-ness. And the next part is the artifact updates that are rolling out and there will be new artifact campaigns which will provide the opportunity for players to show mastery of their class with a solo skill challenge which will unlock a new appearance for their chosen specs. These appearances have been inspired by previous class questlines that led to weapons like Anathema, Benediction and Rock Delar. And this is basically like the quest lines that Priest has had in the previous expansions and also the green fire for the Warlocks. And this is all based on your solo performance. There's no grouping, raiding, nothing uh, involved here. So that's a pretty cool challenge added. 
the 7.2 patch will be seen on the PTR after the launch of 7.1.5, quite obviously. And I think that's basically it. They're also covering a new content, a new continent we might be visiting in future patches such as 7.3, which I think looks amazing. We'll be going into space. Look forward to that. So that was my recap of BlizzCon 2016, patch 7.1.5 and 7.2 coming out, hopefully as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, and have an amazing time, guys. Hope you're as hype as me. Let's hype together. Hype, hype, hype! Okay, bye-bye!